Good morning guys, happy Monday. It's bright and early, it's actually 7 a.m. on the dot and I'm about to go and get my workout on and I'm super proud of myself. I made it a goal this week to get my workouts done earlier in the morning and so, you know, we're up. It's Monday, I have to just like start the week off strong. So here's my outfit. I'm just wearing this really cute uh, workout jacket. It's like a zip up. Uh, from Gymshark and I love this. I wear this all the time. I literally wash it just so I can wear it again um, It's very comfortable. It has little pockets. You can put your phone in it And then I'm just wearing these Lululemon Align leggings in 25 inches And I don't know the color of this, but I'll try and link it. I got these on sale And then I'm wearing my Adidas sneakers. I think these are the cloud foams that I wear all the time So let's go work out well, I just got here and it looks like there's a lot of cars here, so I really hope it's not super busy. This is like such a good way to start the week though. Like Monday morning, we're already up at the gym. back home now and it feels so good to have got my workout done it's literally not even 8 30 a.m yet and i'm already done with my workout so i'm gonna make a slice of this dave's killer bread and have some avocado toast and a fried egg with it and i'm also gonna make my bcaa drink Well, I just finished eating breakfast and I'm gonna finish drinking my BCAAs. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and I will catch up with you guys after that. Well, I am showered, dressed, and I have makeup on. My hair is very dirty. I have been doing a really good job at not washing it as much, which was another thing I wanted to work on this year. And so we're just living with the dirty hair, although it really doesn't look bad because I just put a lot of dry shampoo in it. It's honestly just like a texture thing for me. It feels dirty, so that bothers me. And I also just like can't style it as well, so. Let's put it in a ponytail, it's all good. We have lots of lots of orders to pack, so that is the plan. We're gonna get this going so I can get these to the post office, like, stat. later and I am finally finished packing all of these orders. Holy cow, there were so many. Thank you guys so, so much. I just posted a picture on Instagram of me like sitting with all of these just to say thank you because sometimes I just can't believe that this is really my life and that I get to do this for work because it doesn't feel like work. I literally love running Sun Bunny. So yeah, we have three full bins and then this whole giant Ikea bag here. 
then I gotta take all of this to the post office. It's a little bit later. I did not take the packages yet. I was just waiting for Chad to get back from his CrossFit class so we could just go together because we have to run some errands anyway. So I figured I'll just go to the post office when we go out. Right now I'm just eating some leftovers from the other night. Uh, chickpea pasta with uh, spicy chicken sausage. So good. So Chad and I placed an order with Thrive Market. I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you guys. Here is the box. I opened it up yesterday because I got um, cold brew and oat milk and I didn't know if it needed to be refrigerated, but I didn't take anything out of the box. I was literally waiting for Chad to get home so I could do it with him. So, I'll leave a link in the description. This is not sponsored by them. I know a lot of people have worked with them. I genuinely just want to try it out. It looked really cool and Chad and I are all about trying like new snacks especially if we can find like healthy organic vegan stuff so the first thing we actually got this for free for joining thrive market um and it's the oat milk that i literally use right now the khalifa brand oat milk and then it also comes with a little carton of cold brew so it's like a little duo which is awesome because you know i will drink that we've got some barbecue quinoa chips chad picked these out really good. We have the grain-free tortilla chips from Siete and the nacho flavor. We've had these before. They have them at Whole Foods. They're very good. Late July cheddar cheese mini snack crackers. So they're kind of like the little Ritz uh, snack crackers, but um, these have no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. They're non-GMO and organic, so I'm very excited to try that. Oh, I picked these out for Chad. These are creamy peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. And then I got a bag of the Thrive Market brand plantain chips because I used to love plantain chips like a few years back. It was like one of my favorite snacks. So I thought this would be like a really good snack to get. Now for sweets, we've got some dark chocolate peanut butter cups. So excited. Next thing I picked out are these dark chocolate coconut bars. Like how amazing does this look? I love coconut, love dark chocolate. Um, and both of these, you had to buy like two of them. So really excited. And then last but not least, you guys know I had to get some smart sweets. So on Thrive Market, they have a different smart sweets than what you can buy at like Target and Whole Foods. So I picked out these sour gummy bears. Probably gonna try these right now, honestly, because the normal ones that I get are just the regular gummy bears, but they have sour gummy bears on Thrive Market. So two of those, and the other one is sour melon bites. So these are like, oh, the Sour Patch Kids watermelons. <laughs> um, it kind of reminds me of those, but these look so good too. The calories are 100 for this bag, 110 for this bag, so it's like really easy to do, and I usually don't even eat the whole bag. I usually eat like half a bag. That's everything we got for our first order from Thrive Market. I'm gonna leave a link to our like referral code below and I think you guys will get some kind of a discount and then we'll also get some sort of kickback. So if you guys wanna check it out, be sure to use the link so you can get some savings. I don't know exactly what the discount is, but we're pretty happy with it so far. I mean, this is pretty cool. We got like all these snacks and then when we did our grocery shopping, we didn't have to buy any snacks because we knew we were getting this order in. Perfect. I am heading to the post office right now. I'm gonna go drop off all of the packages and Chad's actually driving with me separately because we have to go to Costco after this to take his car to get the tires rotated, I think, or something like that. Glad he's coming with me because there's so many packages. I would literally have to do like 10 trips. I literally can't order right now because the person in front of me won't pull up. Thank you. Got a gift card. This is from Chad's grandparents fueling my Starbucks addiction. Maybe. It's a little bit later and I'm back home from running errands and I just want to show you guys what I ended up getting at GNC. So I did get the 12 pack of the Fit Shakes, but I just decided to go with the regular vanilla flavor instead of the fruity cereal. I liked the fruity cereal, but I liked it more in the bar form than in the shake form. So I just decided like classic vanilla shake. Can't go wrong with that. Um, then I got a bunch of the Fit Snack protein bars because these are so good. And they're also like, obviously it's good to have like a protein bar after you work out or something, but I also really like the idea of having these as like a little dessert at night, because it's not as terrible for you. And it kind of makes sure I get my protein in. Here's what I got. I got three of the fruity cereal 
protein bars because these are like my favorite and then i decided to try the munchies because a lot of people recommended that and the blueberry muffins so i got two blueberry muffins one of the munchies and then i also got the gummy worms of the smart sweets this is the first time i've ever seen gummy worms in smart sweets so i'm really freaking excited to try these so that's everything I got. It's 6.30 now and I'm starting dinner right now. I just got the oven preheated. We're gonna have these super good sweet potato fries. If you've had this brand by Alexia, you know they're like freaking amazing. And then I just finished snapping all of these green beans. I'm just gonna add a little bit of avocado oil, some salt, pepper, and maybe a little bit of garlic powder. Keep it simple. And then we're also having these California veggie burgers, which are super good without a bun or anything because you know, food tracking. So here's my little food scale that I got from Amazon and I am now going to start uh, measuring out my food. <laughs> so I'll show you guys how I do it. First step is to put your plate on here. You know what, I might grab a smaller plate so I can still see the scale as I'm doing it. This will work better. So you put that on there and then you have to zero it out. It reminds me of being in chemistry, like we would have to do this. So now I'm just gonna take some green beans and add it to this. I'm gonna try and do a lot because I didn't really have any other veggies today. So there we go. So 114 grams are green beans. Okay, I'm gonna just swap this over to my main plate now. I know that technically you can do it all on one plate, but for the sake of having space, I'm just gonna do it like this. So I already got the measurement for how much that was and I'm just gonna log that in. And now we're going to zero this out again. And then on the sweet potato fry bag, it says that one cup or 84 grams is a serving size. So I'm just gonna add some to this plate until I get to the amount of grams that I'm gonna consume and then I'll be able to track it in my fitness pal according to the grams, which is what I'm gonna measure on here. Jess Hutchins would be so proud of me right now. She literally just taught me how to do this on our Zoom call last night. Okay, this is 81 grams, it's 84 grams, so I can probably do like one more. Close enough, just over a serving. So there's that. And then luckily for these, I can literally just scan the barcode, 130 calories for one burger, and that's exactly what I'm having. And then I'll just have to scan in these pickle chips because I'm definitely gonna have some of these spicy pickle chips and a little bit of mustard on top of my burger. And that's my dinner tonight. So here is the final product of my dinner tonight. I am so excited to eat this right now. I'm starving. Please excuse my appearance right now. <laughs> But I just want to tell you guys that I'm really making progress with my eating. Um, so here we are. This is my plate right now. I went out of my way to eat my veggie burger and all of my green beans, okay, first. Now, did I have a couple of sweet potato fries? Yes, but I didn't just like pick and choose what I want to eat like I normally would and usually it's the thing on my plate that I'm enjoying the most so if mac and cheese is a side like I'm gonna eat all the mac and cheese before I even touch the veggies and that's um that's the old me <laughs> the new me now is gonna eat the veggies eat the main like meal which is the veggie burger and then I'm gonna move on to the side because it's often the least healthy thing and for me the sweet potato fries are something that like the last thing i eat is usually a thing i don't finish because i get full like right now i'm getting full so guess what all my veggies are gone so i didn't like miss out on eating the veggies just because i got full okay it's the little things and i'm telling you guys this because maybe you will adapt some of these really good habits with me i cannot believe it i mean i can believe it but why on earth would he get victoria the rose we hate her also oh, look at little trooper Look at little trooper, he's begging to come up here. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is 7 a.m. It's the next day obviously and I am at the gym. I don't even know who I am anymore. I guess I'm a changed woman. Me at the gym, 7 a.m. Like I just get up, get dressed and go. I, I don't know who she is feels good i definitely was really tired this morning had a headache and chad was gonna go with me but he kind of changed his mind so i had to like be the tough one and make myself go anyway but i did and i'm really proud of myself so we're gonna go in here and get our workout over with because it felt so good yesterday it's just you know have it out of the way i'm heading home from the gym now i didn't record anything while i was in there uh, i just i don't know i just kind of wanted to get my workout over with i didn't want to be there to begin with um, but I'm about to have my vanilla fit shake drink so I'll let you guys know how this one is I'm really excited. I know I'm gonna like it because it's just vanilla and I love the flavor of vanilla But I'm curious to see what it tastes like compared to the fruity cereal one. This is delicious This tastes like 
dessert. Seriously, it tastes like a vanilla milkshake. So good. Mm. Probably the best protein shake I've ever had because usually they taste really chalky and this just tastes like really creamy and good. Love this, 10 out of 10. So glad I got the 12 pack because I will be drinking them while this lighting is really terrible. But I don't really care. I want to tell you guys, this week's workouts have been a lot harder than last week's. Uh, so the repetitions last week were 10 to 12. This time they're eight to 10, but you have to do four sets instead of three sets of every workout. So it is just a lot more challenging and we also have to up the weight for every workout. So like last week I was doing um, bent over tricep like rows. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but like it works out your triceps and I was doing five pounds and this week I'm doing 10 pounds and it's freaking hard and I am tired and sore. Hi guys, it's much later now. Chad and I are out doing very adult things. We're in the car right now actually outside of Panera Bread because I'm starving. So I just got a Mediterranean bowl. I'm only gonna eat probably like half of it. And we went to the DMV because we have to do DMV stuff. And with COVID, like they're completely at capacity. So you wait in your car and you tune into a radio station and you wait for your number to be called. And they told us it was gonna be a two hour wait. And I was like, there's no way I can wait two hours to eat lunch. So I just ordered Panera and we just went down the street really quick to pick it up and then go back. And then we have to sit in our car and wait for our number to be called. That's fun. And I got a grande double shot on ice. This is like the blonde one. It's pretty good. Only 80 or 90 calories, so it's not bad at all. Okay, we're back at the tax collectors. I got my Mediterranean now grain bowl. B, 124. I'm getting close. At station number five. <laughs> Chad and I are B133, so we're getting really close. I don't think it's gonna end up actually being two hours, even though that's what they told us. Anyways, this grain bowl is really, really good. It has brown rice, quinoa, arugula, um, tomatoes, some kind of vinaigrette. It also has hummus in it. Um, super good. Definitely like a power bowl, giving me my nutrients that I need right now. I was so hungry and then I was like drinking the espresso without having anything in my stomach. So I was like making my belly hurt, but we're good now. <laughs> I have been no joke working on my business taxes for literally two hours with my sister. And then we had to call my CPA because we were confused about where a number came from and now we're doing all of our calculations again and it's just like really freaking confusing and she's calling me back right now i didn't think it was gonna happen i didn't think i was ever gonna finish my taxes but i did and so i'm drinking a can of water to celebrate i am not about to waste my calories on a real drink right now because after dinner i want to have a treat tonight probably gonna enjoy myself a bowl of cereal and I'm not gonna waste it on a drink. So we're having a zero calorie can of sparkling water. So much new inventory that I have to go through but I have to show you guys this new set. This might be the snuggliest, coziest thing that I have ever had on Sun Bunny ever. It is just like a matching two piece set and this is like a really cozy sweater with just a crew neck style. So could totally wear this with jeans and have it as like a normal sweater but then also it has the matching pants and it's like just like a ribbed knit material super soft and cozy and then these new slippers which i am just dying over like how freaking cute are these and they have this kind of a bottom so you could like wear them outside if you like for me i go out with the dogs in the morning just on my front deck like i could wear these out there because the bottoms are like that hard material so i love these they're so cute 